Karibuni tena wanafunzi wangu ambao mnasoma physical chemistry kwa kupitia channel hii ya Dr. Mlerwa. Channel hii pia inaosha vipindi vya biology, vipindi vya physics, vya BAM pamoja na advanced mathematics. Kwa hiyo unaweza kusubscribe na kushare kwa wanafunzi wengine ili waweze kupata hivyo vipindi kwa urahisi na bure kabisa online. Leo tunaenda kuangalia law of mass action. Kwa hiyo kipindi kilichopita tumeangalia kuhusu equilibrium constant pamoja na characteristics zake. Kwa sasa tunaangalia kifupi kuhusu law of mass action. So this law can only be applied to ideal cases and solution. There are some reactions that do go all the way. Kwa baadhi ya reaction ambazo hazina gases pamoja na solution yani aqueous hatuwezi tukatumia law of mass action. Kwa hiyo tunasemaje kuhusu law of mass action? Uses of equilibrium law Oh it enables us to calculate the composition of reaction mixture that has reached equilibrium and therefore useful if we are preparing the targeted compound via reversible reaction. Kwa hiyo tukiwa tunaandaa gas flan labda tunataka kuandaa hydrogen iodide gas alafu tunatumia this equilibrium reaction. Law of mass action au equilibrium law inatusaidia katika calculate composition ya reaction mixture at equilibrium tunafanyaje hiyo calculation of the composition of of reaction mixture at equilibrium tenda kuona kwenye kwenye maelezo yako mbele kwenye video hii au video zinazofuata kwa hiyo endelea kuwa pamoja nami so kama ambavyo tumeona tumeona kwenye video zilizopita kwamba kama tukiwa tuna expression tulitolea hapa process kule nyuma tukiwa tuna three hydrogen plus nitrogen kwenda kuform kwenda kuform i mean hapa ni two ammonia in gas in gas in gas then tukasema kc expression tunaandika kama ni concentration of nh3 square concentration of hydrogen cubic concentration of nitrogen kwa hiyo sasa hapa kuna kuna swali tu uandike tu expression kwa hizi hapa hizi reaction Ah uh, hilo swali ni, ni very easy ni very easy kwa mtu ambaye ume, umeelewa kile ambacho tuko na kidiscuss. Kwa mfano kwenye A hapo. Unaona kuna tu yule pale oxygen na yule pale. Kwa KC expression unaanzia na huko. Unaanza na NO2 then square kwa sababu ya mbili iliyoko. Then divide kwa nini? Kwa NO NO. Huyo pia unawekea square kwa sababu ya yule mbili. Unakuja unamalizia na oxygen. Kwa sababu hizo zote ni gases kwa unaziweka zote. Aya kwa mfano hiyo reaction ya pili. Hizo zote pia ni gases. Kwa unaweza kuweka tu KC expression ni sawa sawa na sulfur trioxide square then sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide square then oxygen gas inabaki hivyo. Lakini kwa reaction hii hapa C unaona reaction C Reaction C ni kama nusu tu ya reaction ya juu. Lakini kama hujaelewa hiyo reaction C, KC expression yake unaandika tu KC ni sawa sana concentration sulfur trioxide divided by concentration sulfur dioxide then concentration oxygen gas power half. Hiyo isikupe shida yote, isikupe shida yote. Pia ukiangalia kwa mfano hii hapa ni reciprocal ya reaction ile pale juu. Kwa kwa mfano ni ni toe mfano wa mwisho ambao ni hii hapo hii utaandika KC ni sawa sana. Ukianzia huku ni water alafu square hii na video square bracket. Hapo utafuta nini? Utafuta concentration of chlorine gas square uta divide by concentration of hydrogen chloride power 4 then concentration of oxygen. Kwa unaona ni very easy kuandika hiyo KC expression. Now from there tuendelee na na baadhi ya vitu kwenye hii equilibrium constant. So uh, some of the equation above are almost copies of each other except for the value of the coefficient. Kwa kuna baadhi ya ya rules ambazo huwa zinatumika hapo. Zinatumika rules kwa mfano ukizi add reaction uki add reaction huwa kwenye KC tuna multiply tuna multiply. Alafu hiyo ni ukiadi reaction kwenye KC tuna multiply 
ukimultiply reaction kwenye KC tunaweka exponent utanielewa tu ukimultiply reaction kwenye KC tunaweka exponent alafu ukireverse reaction ukireverse kwenye KC tunaweka reciprocal kwa hiyo maana ni kwamba addition reaction huku kwenye KC tuna multiply zile KC za hizo reaction mbili multiplication reaction by factor fulani huko naweka exponent kwenye KC wakati kwenye reverse huko naweka reciprocal tenda kuona tenda kuona huko huko mbele so now let's let's see about the law of mass action law of mass action inasema hivi in a system at equilibrium at a fixed temperature the product of the concentration of product divided by the product of the concentration of reactant each being raised to the corresponding stoichiometric coefficient of the substance in a balanced chemical equation must be equal to a constant kwa hiyo hapa ni product of the concentration of product divided by the product of concentration of reactant each being raised to the corresponding stoichiometric coefficient of the substance in a balanced chemical equation must be equal to a constant kwa ndio maana tumetolea mfano tumetolea mfano kwa mfano mfano ambao ulikuwa hapo hapo juu ni 4 hydrogen chloride plus oxygen hii hapa ni gas hii hapa ni gas of then 2 water plus chlorine gas hii hapa ni liquid sasa vyote vile water inaweza kawa gas pia kama vapor kama zote ni gas maana zote zitakuwa included kwenye KC expression. Hasa according to law of mass action, e constant wanaisema is equal to a constant. E constant ndio inaitwa equilibrium constant. Kwa hiyo the product of equilibrium concentration of product maana product uzidishe equilibrium concentration of product. Kwa hiyo equilibrium concentration of product ya kwanza ambayo ni water. Water vapor tuizidishe na ikiwemo concentration ya pili ambayo ni chlorine lakini each being raised to the stoichiometric coefficient ambazo ni hizi hapa lakini huku kutakuwa kuna hydrogen chloride power 4 na kutakuwa na oxygen kwa unaweza kuona hapo hiyo ndo law of mass action generally so any reaction any reaction written normally can have a equilibrium constant value but that this equilibrium constant value stay the same if the reaction is flipped over and written as reverse the answer is no kwa reaction yote uki flip over ukaiandika kama reverse ile kc value yake ina become inverse maana yake lazima ule sprocket kwa at any given temperature the this square bracket represent the molar concentration molar concentration maana ni molarity so the equilibrium constant in terms of concentration is sometimes denoted as kc kwa hiyo maana nakuta nilikuwa naandika kc kc ni kwa sababu hiyo ndio herufi nyingine ambayo watu wanatumia ku denote equilibrium constant hizi reaction ndio ambazo ziko pale nyuma na tumeshaziona zote jinsi gani ambavyo tunaweza kuandika kc expression zake kama ambavyo tume discuss hapo nyuma now Let's see about the relationship between between the equilibrium constant and the rate of reaction. Relationship between equilibrium constant and the rate of reaction. Uh equilibrium constant is denoted as Kc. Now we want to see if whether if the rate of forward or back reaction is higher. Where will the reaction go in order to attain equilibrium? So we are saying equilibrium constant Kc relate to the rate rate constants of forward and backward reaction according to the following equation so kc is equal to rate constant forward divided by rate constant backward i mean kc is equal to rate constant forward divided by rate constant backward uh, you will understand this rate constant in in topic of chemical kinetics where kf is the rate constant of forward reaction and it can be the rate constant of backward reaction now how consider the reaction below we are deriving this consider the reaction below we have a plus b in equilibrium with c plus d 
na rate ya forward reaction itakuwa sana k forward rate constant ya forward then concentration of a times concentration of b na rate ya backward reaction itakuwa sana hiyo rate constant ya backward then concentration of c concentration of b now ukichukua hapo ukasema udivide udivide hapo hizo vitu kwamba at equilibrium at equilibrium utakuta rate ya forward na rate ya backward inafanana so at equilibrium tulisema at equilibrium tulisema rate of forward na kwa sana rate of backward reaction so kf concentration of a concentration of b is equal to k backward concentration of c concentration of d kwa hiyo hapa ukitaka ku divide utagundua kwamba ukitaka ku divide by k backward na huku kwa divide both side by concentration of a concentration of b na huku vile vile concentration of a concentration of b afu huku ka divide both side by kb so kb na kb itaisha na huku itaisha itabakia kf divided by kb is equal to concentration of c concentration of d then concentration of a concentration of b b na hii expression ni watu tunajua kwamba this is kc so but concentration of c concentration of d concentration of a concentration of b is equal to kc thus kc is equal to kf divided by kb hence prove because sometimes teachers wanaweza kuuliza u derive hapo udelevu hapo na nataka tumalizie concept moja na kwenye next video tuangalie weekly example za hii part ambayo tume tumeisoma e, concept inayofuata kuna equilibrium constant ambayo inaitwa KP equilibrium constant inaitwa KP kwa tumeangalia concept ya equilibrium constant inaitwa KC lakini tumeangalia concept ya relation kati ya KC na rate of reaction ko kuna equilibrium constant inaitwa KP. Kwenye KP instead of using instead of using a uh, concentration molar concentration we are using pressure of gases. So KP is calculated only for gaseous reactants. So in gaseous reaction the reaction of gases can be expressed either on molite or in partial pressure. Consider the following equilibrium. Now consider the equilibrium between between the nitrogen tetroxide gas and nitrogen dioxide gas uh, equilibrium looks like this so for this reaction if we write kc expression it becomes as uh, nitrogen dioxide square then divided by n2 this is o o4 the nitrogen tetroxide so here this and this they are taken in their molar concentration now if we want to express the concentration in partial pressure the expression becomes as kp now this p stands for pressure and it becomes it is partial pressure of nitrogen dioxide square divided by partial pressure of dinitrogen tetraoxide so now what is the relationship between this one and this one that's what we we want to derive here in when we are going to finish this the relationship between kc and kp now first if you want to derive the the relationship between this one and this one we saying that uh from the reaction above from the reaction above from the reaction above Kc will be equal to concentration of nitrogen dioxide square divided by concentration of dinitrogen tetraoxide then we are saying from ideal gas equation how unaweza kuanza kusema this one represents molar molar concentration now from ideal gas equation 
ideal guess equation ni kweli ninajua ideal guess equation ya muifahamu lakini tenda kuisoma kwenye states of matter hii huwa tunaiandika pv is equal to n r t p huwa ni pressure v ni volume n number of moles r ni inaitwa universal molar gas constant na t ni temperature kwa sasa tunasema but number of moles n huwa inakuwa sawa na mass divided by molar mass so pv is equal to m divided by molar mass r t tunatafuta nini molality ah uh, huku tusingekuwa naje sana ya kwenda kwa sababu molality molality huwa inakuwa sawa na number of moles divided by volume kwa hiyo hapa hata kama usingeenda sana na hii ungeita equation 1 na ukishafika hapo kwenye equation 1 una divide by v both sides so pv is equal to n r t divide by v by v utapata p is equal to n divide by v then r t oh kumbe from there sir unakuja kusema kwamba okay n divide by v but n divide by v is equal to ile pale ambayo ni molar concentration kumbe partial pressure ya chochote kile itakuwa ni sawa na molar concentration then r t kwa hiyo hii hapa naweza kaita labda ni equation 2 asa unaona hii equation hapa kp is equal to partial pressure of yule pale square divided by partial pressure of nitrogen 2 o4 kwa maana yake hapa kwenye partial pressure hapa unakuja kuingiza hichi hapa. Kwa hiyo utakuja kuona KP itakuwa sawa nini? Concentration ya nitrogen dioxide square. Then RT square. Huku chini pia itakuwa sawa na concentration of dinitrogen tetraoxide then RT. Kwa from there unachoweza kukiona ni kwamba nini kitatokea hapa? Itakuwa KP ni sawa sana Ichi hapa ichi kipande ichi hapa ndio KC. Ichi kipande ndio KC. Kwa itakuwa sana KC then RT. Kwa sababu hapo kutokana na rows the exponent maana kitu kuchukua 2 minus 1. Kwa utapata RT. Hii ndio relationship iliyo kati ya KP na KC. Kwa reaction hii hapa. Hii relationship ina change toka reaction moja kwenda reaction nyingine. Kwa hiyo hii relationship huwa ina change kutoka reaction moja kwenda reaction nyingine so kama ambavyo unaona hapo jibu la mwisho ni hili hapa jibu la mwisho ni hili hapa na hizi notes nitazituma kule telegram group kwa hiyo ingia kule utazipata hizi notes kwa hiyo kutoka pale sasa kuna general expression ambayo huwa tunasema kp ni sawa sawa na kc then rt change in n change ni n ni sawa sawa na summation ya n kwa product minus summation ya n kwa reactant kwa kwa mfano kwa hii reaction yetu ulikuwa ukiangalia n za kwenye product ni ngapi unaangalia stoichiometry ni mbili n za kwenye reactant ni ngapi maana kitu maana ni moja so 2 minus 1 is 1 that's why unakuja kutikuja kupata kp ni sawa sawa na kc then rt 1 maana yake kama hapa iko 1 hamna haja kuandika unaandika tu KP is equal to KC then R T. Kwa kama una KC universal molar gas constant is known. Na kama una temperature reaction is known. Ukiwa una KC unaweza kutafuta KP lakini pia ukiwa una KP unaweza kutafuta KC. Ah uh, kwenye video inayofuata tutaangalia solved examples za hizi part ambazo tumesoma, solved examples na calculation kwa hizi part ambazo tumesoma. Na baada hapo ndio tutaenda kwenye video ambayo utaelezea reaction quotient na reaction quotient ni kitu gani. Kwa hiyo endelea tu kujikumbusha hapo kuhusu hizo relationship kati ya KC na KP. E, alafu toka hapo angalia tu relationship kati ya rate of reaction pamoja na e, rate of reaction pamoja na na equilibrium constant. Alafu subscribe the channel and share the video to your friends so as to assist these videos.